this is different. The cats are here. The dogs are over there. You would think it would be easy to follow road signs along a coastal highway, but not in Mexico. We ended up heading inland on a busy freeway towards the city of Colima. It was too late to turn around, so we got lunch and made a plan. We agreed that we didn't want to turn back onto the busy highway, so we found an alternate heading south. This morning's misnavigation was thanks to us not using our GPS. Little did we know, this afternoon's adventure, planned by the GPS, was going to take us into some weird places. In Mexico, burnt out vehicles are the calling card of a drug war. They are often left as a sign by the cartels in retaliation for drug enforcement. This also happened to be the point where our GPS steers us off the main road. Not fully understanding what we had ridden into, when it had happened, or what really went down here, our brains were fully occupied by this sight. What would normally be the equivalent of a fun, adventure-filled backcountry discovery ride through the mountains turned into an hour of paranoid images of banditos ambushing us at every turn. Ooh, butterflies! We rode along this crazy, twisty mountain pass for what seemed like forever. My goal was to ride far enough ahead that if anything should happen, I could warn Steph before they heard or saw her. Our minds were so preoccupied by the what-ifs that we had a hard time enjoying the ride and the amazing scenery. Servicing plantations and ratches, we wondered how often this road was used and were quite sure tourists were not often seen here. I often found myself doubting the GPS in the sections that barely qualified as a trail. But the answer to that question only led to more questions. Dirt gave way to pavement that looked completely lost, as if created for the set of The Walking Dead. And the momentary relief was just another oddity of the day as the pavement vanished as quickly as it had appeared.
The pavement did return and we crossed a bridge like walking through a doorway from one reality to another and we were brought into a small town. Plot number four. We just did one yesterday. To say today is going as planned is so completely false. We are who knows where, but not where we're supposed to be. It's three in the afternoon. It's hot. Hopefully this doesn't take too long and we can somehow get back to the coast. Steph is about to start her master class on campsite cooking off the MSR fuel bottle. Where are you going to go here today, Stephanie? Uh, beef. We're going to have some tomatoes, canned mushrooms, mix it all together, and eat it with some tostadas. <laughs> I wonder what the boys in uh, Death Valley would think of that. I think they'd approve. You guys see this big toad? Big toad. <laughs> the day started like many others, but as you saw, we turned into the Twilight Zone. A combination of reality and imagination. Back on the coast, we decided to pitch our tent in the surfing village of La Ticla. <laughs>